Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install um, CyEngine Mod 10 on your Droid X2. First, you're going to first very thing is you're going to be you're going to want to have a rooted phone and you want it to be on 2.3.4. If you have it on if you don't have it on 2.3.4, I'll make a video um, sooner or later on how to do that or you can just look it up on YouTube but what you're going to want to need is system recovery and then you're going to want to install recovery allow then what you're, wanna, you're going to want to do is Put your handy dandy charger in it. Charger. Initial install success. Then go into recovery mode. Once you go into recovery mode, you're going to want to make a backup in case you don't like CM10 or something like that. It's very important that you do because you won't be able to go back, you'll have to SBF it back and that's a long process instead of just restoring it but yeah, have your charger plugged in and it's gonna go to this and then system recovery will show up it'll load sooner or later okay so here's system recovery a recovery for the Droid X2, see in the little box. First, what you're going to want to do is make a backup, and you're going to want to scroll up and down with your arrows, and then the power is to select. So you're going to want to go down to backup and restore. Always, I I always recommend to put it on external, because then it's easier to find. And then you're just going to select backup and it's going to back up everything that that you had on your ROM it's gonna take a while it's gonna take uh, about ten minutes or something like that so I'll cut on I'll, I'll just cut this and come back to you when it's done okay okay so it backed up it says backup complete now what you're gonna wanna do is wipe data factory reset I don't know if you can see it see it's right underneath it wipe data factory reset and you want to scroll to yes delete all user data doesn't take too long it's done then you're gonna to want to go down to wipe data or wipe cache cache whatever it's called partition wipe cache Okay, then you're going to want to go to advanced and go down to wipe Delvic cache. Scroll up to yes. And it doesn't take too long. That after that, after you have everything wiped and you have your backup made, go just go go back. Okay. Then you want to go to apply or where is it? Oh, right there. Install zip from SD card. And then you want to go down to choose zip from SD card. See, I have CM7, CM9, and CM10. I'll do later videos on those too. Go into your CM10 folder. You'll see. Mine says copy, but it's going to be CM10 slash 10 or dash 10 dash whatever unofficial Daytona 1 this is alpha 2 and you just go like that then it's press yes install shouldn't take too terribly long hopefully it doesn't but okay so it's done see install from SD card complete 
Then what you're gonna want, gonna want to do is go and say choose zip from SD card again because you're gonna want to install the Jelly Bean apps or Jelly Bean gaps or whatever it's called. Go right there, press install. It shouldn't take too long. Google Apps for Android 4.1.2. And don't worry if you get like those can't mount file file exists like those errors that usually just happens. Okay, there we go. Press go back. It's gonna take a while. Then reboot system now. <clears throat> and it's going to start up CM10 so you'll see the little circle CM10 logo in a little bit there we go CyanogenMod. mod this is Cyanogen mod 10 alpha 2 the droid x2 <coughs> There we go. And here we go. Press start. No, I'll do that later.